Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about a topic that I'm recently going through in my prep for the North American Championships, and that is changing leverages based on either weight gain or weight loss. And this is kind of something that's important to take note of, especially if you're an athlete who's competing in a weight class sport such as you know, powerlifting. I'm going to speak specifically about the squat, bench, and deadlift here today. And um, so first, I guess I have to cover what is leverage. So leverage is going to be, you know, the mechanical advantage involved in producing force in a simple machine, simpl uh, simply put, right? So in this example, we're talking about our joints. Each individual joint acts as a lever, and then those levers put together acts as a complex machine that is your body that moves the weight. So mechanical advantage is how you can utilize those different levers in order to most efficiently convey force production to the bar. Now, what I'm talking about here today is how those leverages can change as you gain or lose weight. And me, particularly, I've been on this weight loss diet with the Renaissance Periodization app, and I've been slowly losing weight in preparation for the North American Championships here. And as you lose weight, some people may think, well, if I lose just fat, then everything should stay the same and lifting should kind of remain to train through the same because I didn't lose any musculature to be able to move the, the weights. And that's a bit of a misconception because even fat can help increase some of those leverages on some of your lifts. And squat is one of those main ones. So let's just kind of think, whenever you're heavier, you might have a little bit more mass around your legs, a little more mass around your torso. Uh, we've spoken in past episodes where I've talked about uh, bracing, and you want to make the pillar that is your torso that supports the weight as wide as possible. Even if you're losing fat, you're decreasing that diameter of your torso to support the weight, right? And that's a leverage change. And the same thing with, you know, the diameter of your legs. Whenever you're in that bottom squat position, there's less to compact and kind of create that beneficial extra little bit of leverage on the system. Another thing that's worth noting is you can get used to having certain leverages. So if you train at a certain body weight for a long time and then you lose a significant amount of weight, it's going to feel a little bit foreign. And that's what I'm going through right now. I've lost at this point about uh, five or six kilos and squats are starting to feel it. Now, that's not necessarily a negative thing. It just feels different. So the good thing is, in the past, if I do like a water cut, then I train with those leverages all through training in the lead up to the meet, and then it gets to meet day, and those leverages change because all of a sudden I'm 120 kilos instead of 126 or 127. So there's not as much adaptation time. Now at this point, three weeks out, and I'm about to have my training for two weeks out, um, I have a little bit of leeway to get used to those slightly different leverages. And that's what I want to convey to you all. Don't be afraid to see those leverages change. Know that it's going to happen and know that it takes a little bit of time to get used to them, right? It feels like you're out in space. I can tell at the bottom of my squat there's not as much stomach and leg uh, kind of smushed up at the bottom if you want to use a really kind of simple term for it. But 
you just have to be prepared for that. And I want to convey that to you all. That is normal and kind of take that into account for your own training. It works the other way. If you're gaining weight, those leverages are going to get better, but fully expect there to be a transition period where you're learning, you know, how it's going to feel at the bottom of the squat, how to hit depth if you're a little bit bigger, things like that. They change. This ha happens the same with bench. Bench and squat tend to be hit the most. And then deadlift as well. But sometimes as you lose weight in the deadlift, it can allow you to get in into actually better positioning. So that's a little bit different. So that'll do it for today. Thank you all for tuning in. Let me know, have you kind of felt this phenomena that I'm talking about with changes in leverage? Do you have a weight cut coming up? Let me know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe as always. And until next time, happy lifting.